We're back on Jersey Central on the new talk radio, WCTC, the voice of Central Jersey. You may have heard me talking last week about an incredible encounter for a young lady uh, here in Jersey. Was just kind of going about her business, doing her job in Woodbridge, and she was the recipient of an incredible act of, I guess, kindness, if you will, and benevolence. I want to get the details uh, directly from her, so I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today. Uh, Brianna Siegel is here, and maybe you heard her story about getting this gigantic restaurant tip when she was at work in Woodbridge uh, last week. Brianna, good morning. Thanks for coming by. Good to see you. Nice to see you, too. Good morning. Walk me through this story. And uh, you're just, uh, this is at Bar Louie. It's a brand new place, right? Yes. Fun place to work. Is it so far so good for you there? Yeah, it's good. Sometimes right now it's a little slow because, you know, it's like the summer, but we should be picking up in, like, September. But you're getting $1,200 tips. How bad could it be, right? Probably not, not that bad. bad. So walk me through. This is just uh, seemed like any other night for you, and you're, you're taking care of some people at the restaurant. And uh, walk me through. What happened? Um, it was actually a Tuesday night, and on Tuesday night we have five uh, dollar burgers it's actually from five to closing so we get really packed because you know everybody wants to get five dollar it's burgers. a great offer sounds good and it was during our happy hour so i had a couple come in um mainly where i work it's mainly seat yourself we don't really have a host because it's like a bar so uh they actually happened to sit in my uh, section and uh, they were really nice people i got along with them really good you know they were laughing with me they were talking to me um, they were a younger couple. Um, they were in their like mid twenties because I had to ID them. Cause if there's alcohol involved, we have to ID sure. up to like almost 99 years old. <laughs> so I ID them. Um, they had two drinks, literally two burgers and their tab was uh, $20. Okay. And, uh, I walked away. I served them their food. They were hanging out and they even said, we're going to be here for a while. And I said, okay, no problem. And I was really busy, so I kept, I was working on my other tables. And as I was standing at the other computer, putting in the other table's order, um, I saw the girl walking out, and she just said, oh, I'm going to my, uh, I think she said, fiancé's car to go get something. We're not leaving. I said, okay, no problem. So when she came back, like when she came back in, she just said, oh, whenever you're ready, uh, we'll take the check, and they're ready there for like, approximately maybe an hour and a half mm -hmm. and i brought them the check um she called me back over um they paid it with a credit card i swiped the credit card i gave them their receipts and after that um they took their receipts and they were just talking to me then they honestly turned around and said do you believe in god and i said yeah i said i'm catholic and they said okay well we're christian and you know they're really honestly really nice people and they were very, very religious, very respectful. I had no problem with them at all. And then I walked away, and they called me back over to give me uh, the credit card slip. And then they just turned around. They're like, oh, we didn't tip you. So at first, I just looked at them like a little crazy. And then <laughs> um, and then they were just talking to me, and they asked me, like, you know, what I want to do in my future, what am I doing right now. And I told them currently right now I am working. And I said in September I would like to return to school. Mm -hmm. Uh, probably for medical. Um, I already went to medical school when I was a little bit younger. I got uh, certified to be a phlebotomist, but I don't really like it. That's what works. You work with blood, right? A yes. Phlebotomist does. Okay. Yeah, I got All certified, right. but I don't work in the field because it's like a little boring. I'm more of a <laughs> right. people person. I like being around a lot of people. In the center of the action, right? Bar Louie has a lot of action, right? Sometimes right, I love right. action. Okay. I like serving people. I mean, I see all different faces all day, and um, honestly, those two faces I will honestly never forget. How could you? I mean, they were really nice, and they were just talking to me, and like they said, oh, we didn't tip you, and they smiled, and I'm like, in my head, like, well, what do you mean you didn't tip me? <laughs> and then, um, and they honestly just turned around and goes, okay, well, we're going to give you an envelope when we leave, but don't open it until we fully leave until we get out this parking lot or try not to open it until you go home. Wow. And honestly, at that point, I was just so busy. So they were still sitting there. I took their credit card. I ran it through. I walked away. Um, I was walking around, checking on my other tables. They walked up to me. And they're like, okay, thank you for everything. It was great meeting you. Um, here's this envelope. But like I said, just don't open it until we leave and uh, until you get home. And I was just like, okay. I put in my apron. I was really busy. I honestly just kept working, and uh, I left around 1030. Of course, when I walked outside, I got poured on, and I got home, and I was taking all my money out of my uh, check, like, book, 
and I was putting it, and I pulled out the envelope. But honestly, the whole time, I just knew they were really holy. So I just thought it was maybe like like one of those like pray cards or like a little yeah, paper something vibe. Like, right, right. And on the envelope, it said, to Brianna, only Brianna, when I got home. And I was like, well, what is this? <laughs> so I opened it, and uh, it was a note. And in the note, it was saying, this is not, um, oh, my God, wait, what did the note say? I'm trying to remember. I actually have it with me. You brought the actual note? Yes, it oh, was awesome. on a napkin. It was on a napkin. Oh, yes. I got to see this. Oh, this is a keeper. You got to keep this forever. That's the envelope, too? Yes. And there's, a, oh, there's the, oh, oh, let me see the napkin. Oh, this is great. Mm -hmm. Oh, I dropped the napkin. Hold on. Uh, let's see. They're right. Uh, can I read it? Yeah, go Bri, ahead. B-R-I. It says, yes. Bri, God cares for you. This is not a coincidence. Peter 5, 7. Cast all your cares on him because he cares for you. I pray you're the best RN out there. P.S. Whenever it gets hard, no God got you. And it's just B and W. Yes. That's the only way they identify themselves. Yes. As B and W. Um, honestly, like wow. I said, I never saw them in my life. That was the question. Here's the but envelope. I don't want you to leave this here by accident. Mainly the reason why I'm doing this, like even with the news and everything, I'm not doing it honestly about like, you know, the money or the publicity or the fame is honestly because you'll never find two nice people like that in this world. And honestly, um, in this world, there's not a lot of caring people like that. And for somebody to leave a check written out to my name for $1,200, um, that's the most like amazing thing ever. I mean, I've been and I did waitressing. I worked in catering halls ever since I was like 16. And that never happened to me. So that's mostly like the most um, like unbelievable thing. But like I said, everybody knows the reason why I'm doing it is to show them that I'm really thankful yeah. and I really care. And honestly, um, that's really it. It's not about the money. I mean, I mean, yes, they helped me. You know, they're, that money can help me go to school. Sure, sure. And to, like towards a new car because that's what I really need is a new car and go to school. But that's really it. You must be either the greatest server in the history of the restaurant industry for somebody to just out of the blue give you $1,200. Did you connect with them on some level? Did, I guess. Do you think you said something that might have prompted them to show you this incredible amount of generosity? I or mean, well. You're, you're, you're obviously nice to all your customers. I mean, that goes without saying. I could tell just by your being here. Did you, but did you feel some sort of unique connection with them at all? I mean, I guess, but, like, I didn't, like, we didn't talk about money. Like, I didn't tell them, like, oh, I need money for school. I mean, I would never, ever say anything like that. Um, I think they honestly, really, I guess they connected with me. They liked me. And the weirdest part of the note, like, that's just the weirdest part of everything is the note. Like, yeah, the money is going to go, but I'm going to have the note forever. And right, that's something right. I would never get rid of because I never saw anything like that. And um, I, Peter, is actually a saint. Wow. So I even looked it up because I couldn't imagine what I, Peter 5, sure, 7 sure. means. And it's actually a saint. Interesting. And they were really holy people, like I said. And if they are listening, I just want them to let them know. Honestly, they're the nicest people I ever met. And I hope everything goes through for them and every all their dreams come true. Because wow. honestly, they were a very young couple. They were not that much older than me. So for somebody to do that, being that young... That just shows, like, full-on, like, respect and, like, caring people. That's pretty remarkable. Now, uh, what did your manager say? Did your manager say, hey, uh, Brianna, pull that so we can do divvy it up between the other servers? You don't do that at Bar Louie, right? Uh, no, we keep all our uh, cash tips. Oh, so good, good. So you get to keep the whole thing then. Good. Yes, the whole thing is mine. <laughs> um, the only thing we mainly do clean is our credit card uh, slips okay. off the tips, and they take, like, a dollar out wow. of it. Wow. Awesome. You and you've been back to work since, right? I've been working every day since. I'm right. no different. I go to work every day. Actually, the day after it happened, I actually worked a 12-hour. Well, the night it happened, I worked a 12-hour shift. Wow. And then the next day, I worked from five to five in the morning. Unbelievable. So I'm no different, and I'm the same, and I'll keep working every day. You think you'll ever see this again? You think this could ever happen to you again in your lifetime sometime? I mean, personally, no, I don't think so. I mean, yeah, sometimes, like, I get really nice people where they'll tip me, like, you know, over 20%, you know, to 30%. Nice. I mean, 
I'm nice to all my customers. I respect all of them, and they honestly respect me. Um, I see all different faces every day. I get old, grumpy people. I just get nasty people. <laughs> but my whole key is the more you're nasty to me, the more I'm going to be nicer to you and just kill them with kindness. That's it. That's the phrase I was looking for right there. Exactly. Exactly. Maybe you just overwhelm this and other people with end, kindness. And at the end, I guess they just feel bad for being mean, so they just yeah. leave a good tip. Maybe that's it. Well, well, congratulations to you. It's an incredible story. You said uh, a car and maybe going back to school you're going to do with this money? Yes. Yeah? Good mm-hmm. for you. Have some fun with it. That's do something nice for yourself with I it. Mean, I really want, like, I wouldn't really, I want to have fun with it, but I'm <laughs> A just little think, bit, come on. I'm thinking more about, like, the car and the school. All right. Like, you know, I work, so for me, and plus I love to go shopping and oh, I love to buy clothes. Uh-huh. So that's why it's hard for me, right? That's and, why it was hard for me to get a car because mm-hmm. all my money I waste in the mall. And and, yeah, I was going to say, you're not working too far from Woodbridge Center either, right? No, I'm oh, right across there you go. the street. <laughs> awesome. Well, thanks for coming in this morning and thank you for sharing your story. And uh, boy, if this ever happens again, please keep me posted. And I promise next time I come oh, to Woodbridge, I'll be there. I'm pretty sure you'll see me again on the news. And oh, we all will. Over. We will. Next time I'm in Woodbridge, I'm going to stop by and say hello. Definitely. And uh, you'll card me, right? You have to card me? Of course. All right. That's very flattering. Thank you. But thanks again for coming in. All right? No problem.